So today, uh, we will read the words from Vilapa Kusumanjali 39. And it goes like this. Omriga Shavakshi, phone-eyed girl. <clears throat> When can I beautify your chin? That is the abode of Mukunda's bliss. With a drop of musk. Om Riga Shavakshi. Pond eyed girl. When can I beautify your chin? That is a boat of Mukunda's bliss with a drop of musk. During the transcendental vision, Sri Raghunata in Swarupavesh hangs disc-shaped hairpins above Srimati's ears. And now he proceeds by placing a mask drop on her chin. When the vision of placing hairpins disappears, Raghunatha thus laments. So we can see here this this close seva which Raghunath like uh, Tulsi Manjari is doing to Shimati Radhar Ani is so intimate. At, and if we imagine in our screen-like mind this situation, when Radhika is sitting and Tulsi Manjari very carefully is putting this mask drop on her chin. This remembrance will awake some feelings in devotees, sadhakas, because devotees can connect themselves with the feelings of Tulasi, who is doing such a beautiful close. Seva to Shimati Radharani. Tulasi's head is so closed to Shimati Radharani. They exchange their breath. Tulasi is sitting just in front of the Radhika. And is focused on her seva. And this is very intimate seva because Tulasi is decorating Radhika's face. And it's completely focused on Radhika's face. And so many sevas Tulasi is doing just on Radhika's sweet, shiny, beautiful, golden face. She is putting nose pearl. She is making kajal around her eyes. She is putting tilak and around the tilak from the both sides of the forehead, Tulasi 
is making these dots reddish dots then she's putting sindura earrings nose pearl lipstick on the lips coloring the white teeth of Shimati Radharani with a reddish color so so many verses in Vilapa Kusumanjali is describing the expertise of eternal maidservant like a Tulsi Manjari. And Sadaka, when he is listening this way of serving of an eternal kinkari with eager heart and practice remembrance of this service, his heart is melting, his heart is purifying. And he slowly becomes able to practice Manjari Bhav Sadhana. So this allegiance, like we say, or Anugatya, following the footsteps of eternally perfect Manjaris, will bring all necessary ingredients in the heart of Sadaka, which can help him to attain his ultimate goal. That like Tulsi Manjari, be completely closed and directly with the Swami. So Raghunath in the words is saying, O oh, Mriga Shavakshi, found eyed girl, your eyes are so open so broad your bluish pupils in these eyes are so restless and why he's addressing radhika like this because in that moment tulsi is making seva of putting this musk on the Radhika's chin. And when Radhika smelled that musk, immediately, intensity of her feelings and remembrance on Krishna increased and her eyes opened more and more. Baba is saying that before this, Raghunath was so absorbed in his Swarupa wish in previous seva of putting hairpins in Radhika's, around Radhika's ears. And he was doing it in Swarupa wish. And when that vision finished, he is starting to cry. He started to think to pray for another seva. So this crying, this cry, these prayers of devotee on such level is something which on which Sadaka has to meditate. Sometimes we think that we should meditate only on Radharani and Mohan. And we forget that we should also meditate on their maidservants. Because they can help us to come closer to Radhamukha. And they will infuse us with their feelings. So, the Baba is saying, when vision of placing hairpins disappears, Raghunath thus laments. Yeah. 
So this bouquet of lamentation, like Ananta Das Babaji is saying in our beloved Guru Dev so many times, is full of his tears. Each verse is like a flower which he is watering with his tears. And meditation on his lamentation is a perfect sadhana for Manjaribhav Sadaka. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> yes, please, Dawaji. Can you move? Can you move? The sound uh, is sound quite. Is that okay now? Yeah. It, it Sorry, a bit complicated microphones here at Mungit Bandi. Ah, okay. Um, to this beautiful description of Tulasi Manjali's service that you just made, I want to add an, a meditation on the Rad, Radhan Mohan. Even though you said we should not always meditate on the Radhan Mohan. Yeah. It's this, this beautiful detail in the verse. I wanted to. Well, Don't hear you. Without you, we didn't hear you. Testing. Yes, but sound is full of echo, echoes. So can you try again? In the beginning we heard you very well, but I don't know what's happened. Okay, I'll come back to you later. We'll come back later, please. Thank you. Okay, remember what you wanted to say, please. <laughs> so, we will continue with commentary, and it said, the pain of separation that Jata Prema devotee, devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels, is very intense, no doubt. But Srila Raghunadas Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabhava, far beyond that. So what does it mean? Actually? You want to help us, Gurudev? I will read again this sentence. The pain of separation that Jata Prema devotee, devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels, is very intense, no doubt. But Srila Raguna Das Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabal. Far One is the Krishna Aprema. Jata Dibuti is a Krishna Bhakta. Hmm? And Radha is a Mahabhav devotee. There are two types of devotees. Right? Who has a love for the Krishna and who has a love for Mahabhav. Radhika. You will see two classes of devotees.
Păi, în cazul tău. Nu, Gurude. You explain perfectly. Intensity of the pain of devotee who is Mahabhav devotee, Radhika's devotee, is much more, much more, much more intense than also separation and pain of Premika devotee, Krishna's devotee. And Raghunath is drowning in this Mahabhava ocean the, of Radhika's feeling. Uh, Right. And Jata devotee is a Krishna who is in love with Krishna. Read again. Read again. Read again. The pain of separation that Jata Prema devotee, devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, Yeah. Feels is very intense, no doubt. No doubt. There is no doubt in that love. Because it's a Krishna friend. It's not a material love. It's a very rare to find it out. It's not easy. No doubt. But Srila Raguna Das Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabal, far beyond that. He's also very that point. But the Mahabhav devotees are far beyond that. Right, Udabdi? That's right. Yes, Udabdi approved this. It's Jananda <laughs> Yes, we're there. Yaranda Maharaj. Yes, Guru Dev. Could you hear? Yeah, I listen very yes. well. Yes, I'm listening to your your nectarian words. Jata Prema. <laughs> Someone who has awakened Krishna Prema and someone who awakened. Mahabha, Mahabha for this radicals feeling much, much far, far, far exalted. This is our Manjari, our Radadasi. When devotee reaches the stage of rati, okay. when devotee reaches the stage of rati, he gets visions of the Lord's forms and qualities. And he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. We don't hear you, Gurudev. Your mic is mute. Please unmute your mic. Yeah. Yes. We didn't hear you anything if you were talking, Gurudev. I will read again. He was, he was speaking to guests. Ah, okay. Sorry. When devotee reaches the stage of Rati, he gets visions of the Lord's forms and qualities. And he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. So this is the stage of Rati or stage of Bala. Transcendental ecstasy, transcendental intoxication, which is coming after the stage of Ashakti. And this stage is the goal of Sadaka devotees. 
because when they reach the sta that stage, devotee can see himself, his spiritual identity, more crystal, and he can see the qualities, the forms of beloved Ishtadev. And this automatically increases devotion in the heart of devotee. And he is entering in the stage of divine madness, intoxication. This is ecstasy. And this stage, our beloved Acharyas are calling first ray of prema. First ray of prema. So, Baba continuing. After this stage of Rati, when stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from transcendental ecstasy. But when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in a sporty anymore. I made mistake, so. <laughs> So, but when the stage of prema is attained, there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the Lord's form in a spurti anymore. So, in the stage of above, devotee shortly, like a blitz, reflection of light, is seeing Shimate Radharani, in our case, like our beloved Ishtade, and Radha Mohan also. But this is very short. Sometimes devotee is not even sure they really appear or not. And this is a sport tip. This comes in different ways. And this level is very sweet, encouraging and gives a hope to devotee that he will attain his goal. But when devotee is on the stage of prema, he is not satisfied anymore with this short spurtis, short visions. He wants more. He is not satiated. I want to relish more my devotional service to my beloved Shimati Radhika. I want that vision is longer, not like a reflection, just blitz, you know, this blitz of the light. The mind then becomes greedy after something even more special. And that is attainment of the Lord's direct darshan. Premika devotee is not satiated, it's not satisfied with only spurtis, but he wants rasa darshan. He wants direct, direct darshan. And more vivid, deeper. The mind then becomes greedy. So we can see here how visions and greed are going hand by hand. They are increasing each other. Because of greed, great greed, burning greed, visions, short visions appears. But when short visions appears, the greed is increasing more and more. This flame 
in the heart of devotees increasing, increasing more and more because of the visions. And this increase, greed, attract more visions to come. So they are going simultaneously. Shiragunada Das is on the level of Mahabha. So his heart is always filled with the great eagerness to see the Lord directly. Between Spurti, visions, and Sakshat Darshan, or direct seeing, there is a medium stage which is called Sakshatkara Kalpa or Vispurti. A more vivid kind of Spurti. So Baba here explain. I will read again. And Baba explaining these different stages, emotional stages, which devotees passing through. And by meditation, and in uh, meditation on their feelings, intense feelings, the heart of Sadaka is starting to burn more and more out of greediness. I will re repeat again. Sri Raghunath Das is on the level of Mahabala. So his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the Lord directly. Between Spurti and Sakshat Darshan, between visions and direct seeing, there is a medium stage which is called Sakshatkara Kalpa or Vispurti, a more vivid kind of Spurti. All transcendental visions of Sri Raghunata Das are in that category. Gurudev, you want to share us something? Again, second. Yes, Gurudev. Sri Raghunata Das is on the level of Mahabhav. So his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the Lord directly. That is the only thing. The Mahabhav devotee has the eagerness. First we have to understand. Mahabhav devotee and eagerness is not there for service. Then he is not Mahabhav devotee. How the thermometer, if I have no eagerness, I have eagerness to enjoy my senses and other things, then we are not a Mahabhav devotee. Material enjoyment is there, any eagerness for that, and not eagerness for Mahabhav then we are not Mahabhav devotees. We are thinking to become, but not happen. Eagerness is the most, this is the alma method to check where is my eagerness. And that has to change. And eagerness cannot be five eager things. At a two, two eagerness thing in mind. This material also is spiritual, also. Then it's not eagerness. Eagerness means what you say in English. 
not possible to develop the spirit mind is thinking if when in that dream is happening is also intends to grow in mahabhav eden So Sri Raghunath Das is on the level of Mahabal. So his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the Lord directly. Yes, that's the point. There, there is no place for other things. His heart is filled, completely filled. <laughs> Because because of the eagerness, not thinking for himself, no no any 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 desire out of the sarup identification, and without sarup. Identification, even has not come for her. So we can say, maybe Gurudev, that this eagerness, spiritual eagerness, is burning all other desires. All other eagerness. Mm -hmm. Can we say like this? Again, the voice Can was not. Okay. Can we say, Guru Dev, that this eagerness, spiritual eagerness, is burning mm -hmm. all other desires in the heart, all yeah. other eagernesses? Right, right. This is the beauty. And this is only happening with the following of Rasik association, not happening without that. Yeah. This is our test. Mm. The Pinsporti. Visions and Saksha Darshan, direct seeing. Right. There is an eagerness will not come. Eagerness create, create a spurti and start direct darshan in the dream darshan. Mm. Mm. This is the beauty of Eden. Sleeping, dreaming, eating, every moment. One pointedness, Mahabhav, one point. So between Spurti, visions, and direct seeing, there is a medium stage which is called vispurti or more vivid kind of spurti. Mm -hmm. All the transcendental visions of Sri Raghunatha Das are in that category. Vispurti. 
राधा रानी है सेम थिंग राधा रानी इज सेम एंड रघुनाथ भी जम सेम विजन डायरेक्ट विजन स्लीपिंग और सामने इज ऑलवेज दैट वे लिविंग इन दैट सिमिलरली सेम मोड कंप्यूटर सो रघुनाथ इज ऑल्सो बिकम महाभार Your face is cutting. Picture is now. Yeah, this is the picture. So all different stages of feelings and consciousness, which Radhika is going through, yes, is reflecting directly on her manjaris and to Rasikas, Bhaktas, and through them to Rasika devotees. Not a mean thing. Raghunath Das Deepak. This is our service practice to do in our life. This is the goal of our life. And this goal should be very clearly fixed. in the heart mind and consciousness of devotee rather now can we continue yeah both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions He is focused on Sri Radha's lotus feet. You see, external consciousness means I'm in bodily consciousness, but fixed in Radha. That's it. <laughs> Always. जित देखो ते श्यामा मणि वेर आई सी एनली आई सी यू देर इज नथिंग एज देन both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions he is focused on shri radha's lotus feet i am there i am there wherever there is a full surrender there can be no question of division of interests the perfection of prema cannot be attained by thinking i will give something to my body and family and the rest i will give to my beloved deity the perfection of prema cannot be attained by thinking i will give something to my body and family and the rest i will give to my beloved deity everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of beloved deity devotee must take shelter on so oh, is difficult word for me an equal equivocally 
Udavaji, help me. What is this? Unequivocal means completely, without any doubt, without any compromise. Okay, thank you very much. Devotee must take shelter without any compromise. Narottama Das Thakur is singing, O oh Lord, I didn't worship you without hidden motives. Well. So he is so, not only humble, but he is honest and speaking to us sadhakas also. I worshipped you, but I had the hidden motives. And this is my obstacle, why I'm so slow in my spiritual advancement. I'm not even aware of these hidden motives. And that's this is my misfortune. I think that I'm practicing in a proper way, but I have hidden motives. My heart needs more and more purification. <laughs> that we have to pay. Our hidden motive to pray, how oh, Swami, you will remove that. And what is still not going through inside from me? That day, its hidden motive will go out. All mercy will start. All mercy. Honestly, I have also hidden motive. I start thinking after my death, how, who will take care of temple? Two sons are in America. Then it comes to me, hidden motive that Prashant Bhaiya has to learn this. And I sent him to first to learn from the devotees how they have love to give you. When you will receive this love, then your feelings will go. And I feel like will come in his life, his life will change. So only love and can the change the heart. Huh? Only love can change the heart and remove hidden motives. Yes. Hidden desires. So Hidden motive is finished now. My one hidden motive was there to my children, and he is moving right away. He is interested in my all happy. I have no problem in my life. All this happened. I'm very happy. This was my hidden motive, and I it. This is open motive. I'm sorry. This is open motive, and motive in the in the seva in the function of seva. Sorry, to, sorry to say. Sorry. Can you hear me? I have a question. Hidden what had has to go out? I have. Yeah. Can you explain? Sachimat, can you uh, repeat the question? Because I, I didn't hear. Please, would you be so kind to repeat? I have heard hidden something has to go out, but I don't know what. I have not understood. Okay. Well, Thank you. 
Motiv, Motiv, ne? Motiv, Bewegung. Motiv, ne? Ja. Das Motiv, in ist Motiv. What makes us do something? Not what. What makes us motivates to do something? And, uh, oh, danke. Thank you. Okay. And in the sadhaka, there is often hidden motives, things that make us act that we hide. But in the advanced devotee, the siddha there, like Gurudev, there's no difference between who we are and the reasons why we act. There's no motive. Everything in our being has one purpose, and that is the service to Radharan. Even the externally you do that. Hmm. In the material, your body is like that. That is the Naran Manasse Sad Seva Sada Vena, the Vena Chatra. That is the Manabati and Motive Sadi. We are our service. Yes. If there are any other motives within the heart, it is called deceitfulness. Without being free from ulterior motives, the prema sadhana cannot be done. Without being free from these hidden motives, the prema sadhana cannot be done. So honesty yeah. is so important. Yes, Gurudev? We are Desire for distinction is a great enemy of the aspirant. Even a person who has renounced everything may desire to touch the hog's tool of desire for distinction. Uh, even even someone hog's tool. <laughs> Explain this, Udamara. <laughs> <laughs> Radha Chan can explain. Radha Chan. What is hooks to? Hooks to pick shit. Pick shit. Pick shit. Shit of the stool of the shit. Pig. <laughs> Means that even the most advanced devotee sometimes has motives that are. Exterior. That motives that are hidden. The big shit of motives that are hidden. Money, what is for for what? What? Says, what, the what? Even a person who has renounced everything may desire to touch the hog stool of the desire for distinction. He wants to be special. I'm somebody special. I'm a guru. I'm a guru. And this will only pollute you. It's only hog stool. Oh, good. Does he often be a leader? Not only be a dasi. Does he mean dasi identification? 
The example is Vinod Baba. Example is Vinod Baba. Why? What he do? Very simple life. Huh? Very simple. Anand Das Baba, my guru there, never he like any respect this. Hmm. of examples of this hoax tool in the form this depiction is I am a great scholar. I am very qualified. I am very wise. I am absorbed in but I am famous. I will lord over all everyone very happy. I will lord over everyone and that become very happy. the motives. It's very interesting that person is not aware about these motives this way of thinking. So it shows clearly that Sadaka needs guidance. I'm sorry, devotees, uh, we had interruption here in Italy, in the mountains. Mountains, what can we do? You are in mountains, by <laughs> Sometimes, near to the ocean and mountains. You are here, Radha Dasi. And now you are going to the Switzerland. Even higher. Higher. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, I'm becoming very famous with it, actually. <laughs> yeah, you are famous. Yeah. Very, very. Careful Especially with the hook. Especially when you... <laughs> you don't fall for... <laughs> I'm swimming in the hog stool, and the others are no. putting the hog stool on me also, Gurudev. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. That's the problem. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> now you are very humble. This is my misfortune, Gurudev. No. But sorry, what can I do? Only pure because love of devotees can purify this. Really humble. Because of Radha Das. Not in my case. Warrior, fighters. <laughs> Russians are all fighters. But for, for the wrong goal. So I will continue. These desires are called pratishta or desire for the instinction. And there is no greater obstacle to development of devotion than that. Wow. This desire is like a band of pirates that enters the boat of sadhana 
and planters. Yeah. So this desire for extinction is very difficult to remove from the heart. And it's not possible, actually, for the person, for Sadaka. He needs a mercy, he needs Kripa. From Guru, all Vaishnavas, Nitai Gaur, everyone. Because I was thinking so much, why this distinction is so hard to remove from the heart, even if I recognize that. Eating up the soup. You see so much devotees are loving. You see in Switzerland, Italy, every place. So I was in sannyas days to show that I'm a very renounced person. But Gurudev slapped me and said, this is not you. I, I, I bless you. I want to be a Dasi of Radhika and you eating hawk stool and living with hawk stool. And so go back to Vrindavan, stay, and again revive your Dasi Bhav. Really, I say, I accept you for this. And this was the mercy in my life. Who don't like to travel in business class in a flight? Huh? I was liking so much business class. Hmm? So everybody likes to listen to you. No. You are very yes, special. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Gurudev, for putting the stool on me. And I I hope that is your slap, actually. That after that, my <laughs> heart is purifying. Uh, i humble. When I see you are sitting in the floor and Ramni is sitting on the chair, I think you see, my God, I have so much. He knows his position. I am looking every picture of you. I cannot escape from devotees, I'm sorry. But Ramani Gurudev has a pain in the back. This is the reason I, why she is sitting. I, I'm, I understand. Yes, okay. I see your humbleness. Ah. Well, it's not easy to be humble. You are doing with four persons, Karuna Mohan, Prashant, Vriya. They are so nice. Siddhar Baba. They are trying to learn from you. I'm trying to learn how to love Guru Dev through them. I'm sorry. They are taking care nicely too. This is Mana Shiksha. So. Teachings for the mind. Sri Raghunath Das writes, O mind, the shameless dog-eating woman of desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. 
How can beautiful, pure love of God ever touch it then? Again. Yes, Guru. Oh, mind. The shameless dog eating woman of desire for prestige, distinction, and position is dancing in my heart. It's not only present in my heart, happily dancing. Dancing? Yes, dancing. Dancing means what you will say? Living, alive. Yes, yes please. And I'm very happily. It. And I, I'm watching this dancing. How beautiful they are dancing. And I'm enjoying it, that dance. What is the word? Dancing in the heart? Hmm? In the right. O, oh, in a session. Sadhu, I must prestate suture etana no manda. No, no, no. English. Yeah. It means business class in the heart. It means enjoying having prestige, being somebody special. It's playing in the heart, giving pleasure in the heart. Nagaranga, did I understand? Yes. For me, it's very important for us words this shameless actually why he is saying shameless dog eating woman of prestige distinction and position shameless is because i am enjoying in this hoax tool prestige pratishta lobak puja and this is my shame that i'm enjoying i'm very happy when they when i see how this Pratishta Loba and Puja are dancing in my heart. And this is my shameless position. How can beautiful, pure love God ever touch it then? Therefore, Always serve the matchless leading devotees who are dear to the Lord, so that this Pariya woman, low caste, without any case, woman, can quickly be chased out of the heart and love of God may enter it so this is the only solution always serve matchless leading devotees pure mahabhav devotees rasik devotees and all other Vaishnavas. and this is the only medicine there is no other medicine Then, by their mercy and their love and correction also, sometimes smashing corrections, sometimes little ironic corrections. I don't know. Uh, ironic. Ironic. Yes. Sarcastic. Taking some sarcastic. Some sarcastic correction. correction. Sometimes harsh correction. This Pariya woman can quickly be chased out of the heart and love of God may enter it. Arrogance goes In Prema Bhakti Chandrika, it is also written 
What is that? Don't endeavor for the falls like profit, adoration, and distinction. Always think of Govinda's lotus feet. All calamities, difficulties, obstacles will then go and you will become very happy. This is the greatest cause for loving devotion. Don't endeavor for the false like profit, adoration, and distinction. Pratishta Loba Puj. Always think of Govinda's lotus feet. All difficulties, obstacles will then go, and you will become very happy. This is the greatest cause for loving devotion. Undoubtful surrender cannot take place when we keep on pulling between different interests. I am Sri Radha's maidservant. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure, independent devotee. Sri Raghunatha Das fails on the bank of Radha Kunda and weeps. What to do? How to become Radharani's beloved? That must be learned from Acharyas. Tulasi is in the kingdom of Lila, holding a cup with a mask in her left hand and a brush in her right hand. She stands before me, wearing her left over glistening blue sari. Swamini mercifully gave her sari because she was very much satisfied with Tulasi's service. How beautiful she looks in it. Seeing Swamini's playful eyebrows and eyes, Tulasi calls her Mriga Shavakshi, brown eyed girl. She holds the cup with fragrant musk close to Swamini's nose so that she will remember Krishna's bodily fragrance. While her eyes that extend to her ears move around restlessly, Swamini asks Tulasi, where does the that fragrance comes from. 
I understand that my Priyatama is coming. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ansarila, 19th chapter, is written. The fragrance of Krishna's body defeats that of blue lotus flower anointed with the musk. This fragrance pervades all the 14 worlds and attracts everyone, blinding the eyes of the girls. O oh, Saki, Krishna's fragrance maddens the world. It enters the women's nostrils and always remains sitting there, holding them and taking them to Krishna. It steals the bodies and minds of women and makes their noses twirl. The women of the world then become like a mad woman whose braids loosen of agitation. That's how the highway man of Krishna's bodily fragrance is. Shrimati is agitated by smelling the musk, and she shows many sweet emotions through the expressions on her face and in her eyes. Tulasi then says, O oh, fallen eye girl, he who becomes agitated from the smell of this musk has not come. Hearing he has not come, Swamini becomes upset and it is as if her heart breaks. But Tulasi makes Shama appear in the form of the musk drop on her chin. You know what this chin of yours is? Tulasi is asking Radhika. It is the temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have. That's why he is Mukunda. Tulasi prattles. Hearing this, Swamini is overwhelmed. She sits so that Tulasi seizes her opportunity and puts the mask drop on her chin. How wonderfully this mask drop blazes there, like a baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. Tulasi says, He, Krishna, is a black. The drop is also black. That drop has now attained its rightful place. Krishna will become jealous of that drop. And the owner of the temple will come and fade that drop out by kissing your chin. 
And that's exactly what I want. Being fully surrendered to her, the maidservants know exactly what is on Swamini's Mahabhava mind. Being fully surrendered to her, the maidservants know exactly what is on Swamini's Mahabhava mind. And they serve her accordingly. By Swamini's grace, they know exactly what she needs. I call myself maidservant, but still, Swamini does As soon as my mind and my heart become qualified, she will certainly respond. I cannot eat, I cannot sleep, I'm crying for her day and night. Can merciful Swamini remain silent although she sees all this? In Srimad Bhagavatam 9, or 65, it's written how Sri Narayana told Durvasamuni, How can I forsake my devotees who have given up their wives, homes, children, relatives, and wealth to surrender unto me? And Swamini's embodiment of compassion, a Purusha, a man or personality of God, bestows his mercy after due consideration. But Swamini is an apara, daya vati, an endlessly merciful goddess and she bestows her mercy without any consideration her compassion will certainly descend when she hears devotee anxiously praying anxiously praying not ordinary prayer Anxious prayer from the heart, from the soul. My heart is blinded by illusion. Please purify me and give me shelter at your lotus feet. This is why Gora is so merciful. He has accepted the mood and complexion of Shirag. Shiraguna Das Goswami is the full recept uh, receptacle of Sri Gora's grace, receiver of Sri Gora's grace. He cannot even swallow a little water anymore. Because he is thinking, I didn't see my Swami. What is the use of staying alive? So, devotees sometimes are trying to imitate Raghunathas. Sadhana. And they are trying to fast to do different austerities, but actually 
system. This is external, and it will never brings devotee to his goal, to Shimati Radhika. Because the point of Raghunatha, austerities, is love. He is always feeling that he needs to be more closer to Radhika. I didn't see you. And because of that, I don't want to eat or drink or sleep. But if we imitate Raguna, by, but by not eating, by not drinking, not sleeping, we will become crazy. We will lose our health. We will lose our intelligence. But if we try to not connect our heart with Raghunatha's heart and with his feelings, then slowly but surely, step by step, year by year, or day by day, or second by second, our heart will be prepared for receiving His mercy and this kind of sadaka will say, Oh, I didn't see my Radhika. I cannot live even for one second without her. And even if I don't see her, that's okay because this is her mercy. But I didn't think on her. One minute, one hour, one second, one day. So I'm just saying this shortly because we all, especially all devotees, Jainandajis and Sunitijis here somewhere, we all know that imitation is a great obstacle. And many devotees went in that trap and became crazy and didn't attain anything. So, aspirants, neophytes, beginners, sadakas should try to develop loving relationships with those devotees who are already in the kingdom of Mahabharata through their words and also loving relationship with other devotees. This is crucial point for advancement in the spiritual life. Tulasi lovingly makes many luscious jokes while putting the mask drop on Swamini's chin. This drop makes the natural beauty of Sri Radhika's face even more beautiful. Srila Vishwana Chakravati writes in Krishna Bhavanamrita, this blue drop is like the full moon rising from an ocean of sweetness. Seeing this, Krishna will consider it to be a seal, declaring it to be his. And he will personally come to rejoice in experiencing its flavor again and again. Tulsi brings strong emotions into Swamini's heart that is suffering separation. Blessed is her expertise in devotion service. And how many memories of different pastimes 
doesn't Tulasi awaken in Swamini's heart? When she holds Swamini's chin, she suddenly doesn't get anything anymore. And her heart immerses in an ocean of love separation as, the, as she anxiously laments. To whom shall I give this mask drop now? So we can end. I'll repeat again these words. Om Riga Shavakshi, Own I go. When can I beautify your chin? That is a boat of Mukunda's bliss with a drop of musk. So we can finish here because also uh, our internet is limited very soon. Uh, we will lose internet and then he has to go to work and uh, he's taking his hotspot. <laughs> so if you agree, Guru Dev. Very simple. That what is very simple to do. Doing is different. Very much nothing to do. Only listen by ear and collect the philosophy and information. But Ragvati is very easy. But, but to practice in life, how much we can do to make easy life, to very clo close with the impossible to possible, without doing not possible. What is very impossible, you can make possible. Because it's so natural. With the natural, it's a sahaja. Yes, perfectly. It's a sahaja. It's a natural. One is a prakritic sahaja. One is a sahaja. It's a sahaja simple. And prakritic sahaja means I want to copy Radha Krishna love in the material. That is impossible. Thank you. Your time is very valuable. Again, you have sharing, you have to many devotees are coming. You have to share with them. Thank you very much for all your yeah. feelings, all your thoughts, all your kripa for all of us. Yeah. And taking care of about Valeri is joining. You see. <laughs> but in the time in America. Oh. See, now is uh now eight o'clock almost at morning. She she was in morning class too. Yeah, my God. she's in America now. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. No. Radhe Radhe Gurudev.